वेलकम फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड सो फार दैट व्हाट इज अ मर्ज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड हाउ द मर्ज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स आर क्रिएटेड वी एक्चुअली क्रिएटेड इट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो टू सी दैट हाउ दिस इज जनरेटेड इन इन रियल लाइफ एंड वी आर नाउ हैविंग अ सिचुएशन वेयर we have a pull request this we saw in the previous video and this pull request is having a merge conflict like this we saw the these notations how these notations are uh, uh, described and now we need to resolve this conflict yeah so how to resolve a uh, merge conflict first of all we need to see that the pull request was created from which branch to which branch yeah so if we look at the pull request we can tell that code is trying to go from this white duck branch into the master branch and in this transfer of the code or merge of the code there is a merge conflict so pull request is nothing but uh, uh, transferring one uh, uh, code segment which is on some branch to another branch yeah and in this case the code is trying to go from white duck branch to the master branch yeah and then there is a conflict how we can resolve this conflict this is important to know that from which branch to which branch uh, the pull request is uh, 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 imagining a conflict yeah. so obviously we need to be on our local on white duck branch because we created the pull request from this branch uh, to the master branch so let's go to user 1 because user 1 has created this uh, pull request with the changes he or she has done in the white duck branch right and once again in the pull request we saw that code is trying to go to the master yeah so what we will do to resolve this conflict we will go say open pull dialog and we are working with bit bucket that is not a problem but the remote branch that we need to pull this time so uh, see whenever we see uh, we uh, order this command pull merge or pull require pull rebase or whatever with pull by default it it is pulling the changes on the from the same branch on which we are for example if i am on master and say pull merge it will uh, take all the changes from the remote repository that is there on the master branch into my local master branch yeah but this time in order to resolve the conflict what we will do we will say open pull dialog and the branch we will pull on our branch will be the target branch of the pull request so target branch of the pull request here is master that is what we are uh, doing here in the open pull dialog we are saying that we want to pull the changes from the master to our local branch okay and we say pull so pull is there but you see there is a cross symbol and it is saying that there was a problem in the process and what was the problem this was a conflict yeah if you see here and uh, when you see okay it is clearly asking you there are unresolved merge conflicts do you want to solve it now and that is what you want to do and you say yes it will show you in which files so in our case there is only one file 
but there there can be scenarios that there are multiple files for example there are multi module projects and there are many pom files and uh, user 1 is changing the version to 23 and user 2 is changing the version to 24 there will be multiple uh, uh, pom files where the conflict is there yeah so until now we see the file in which the conflict is there so how to resolve it we open it in a tool called kdiff3 yeah it is a comparison tool and uh, it, it can show us the three ways uh, where the code was changed let's open it yeah so file is opened in uh, in kdiff uh, this is an open source tool you see it can show us the changes in three way and what is uh, what is what yeah so base is what from where we started to create our branch yeah so we were on the master user 1 was on the master it did not take the changes uh, uh, from the master and uh, it started to create branch from here and at that point of time it was only duck yeah and user 1 changed it to white duck yeah and in the third pane it is showing that at the remote the situation has changed somebody has already changed it to black and merged it yeah so now we are uh, in decision to take whether to take this one or this one or this one yeah suppose we want to take uh, uh, okay uh, so white or black does not make sense let's take uh, duck again you, know, you can do it or user 1 and user 2 talks together and come to a decision that okay black looks fine white is uh, uh, i was doing wrong so let's take black yeah or the uh, a uh, conclusion is that we need to take white yeah so this is why we are resolving it manually because it, it cannot be resolved automatically and kdiff is clearly showing us that from where we started what we changed what others changed okay and it is depicting is by base local and remote so suppose if we want to take uh, the white yeah so you see three symbols here a b and c so this one is a this one is b and this one is c and we want to take white so look look here yeah there is a question mark and merge conflict and it is waiting for our decision which one to pick so just look here at this line where is merge conflict and i am going to press b so it took the changes from the portion b which is our change and resolved it now there is no question mark and we will save it and close it and it is asking that it is resolved now do you want to commit it i will say yes and one thing to look here is that it creates the dot original file yeah that we don't need yeah so i will commit and i will push and let's go back to the pull request and refresh it
once it is loaded we first of all see that there is no merge conflict right now yeah and the change is from black we changed it to white and then the merge conflict we can say that it is resolved yeah then we can approve it and maybe we can merge it there is no problem so this is how we resolve the merge conflict the important thing to look here is what is the target branch and what is the source branch be at the source branch and pull the code from the target branch and then resolve the conflict using the kdef tool or whatever uh, merge tool you are uh, uh, expert with or you want or you like i like kdef because it shows me the three uh, transparent things that were where i started from why what i changed and what somebody else has changed so it gives me three way view and uh, that is why i like it and uh, but you can use any any diff tool that you want and we are using git extensions it has uh, uh, integration with the kdef tool and uh, uh, we can use it uh, easily but yes you need to install it separately it does not come with uh, git extension but it's very uh, tiny utility and you can uh, uh, install it so this is how we uh, resolve the merge conflict and uh, so uh, in our uh, video so far i created a merge conflict uh, on the master branch but there are scenarios in which there are uh, auto merges and uh, whatever we commit on a release branch automatically tries to go into a master branch and then in this case when you merge to the release branch it's not a problem but when the release branch tries to go into master automatically then there are uh, uh, merge conflicts uh, uh, appearing yeah. but in order to resolve those merge conflicts as well the rule is same be at the source branch at your local git repository and pull the target branch over it and try to resolve the conflict there will be some changes update it uh, uh, you know, with the commits and if there is a already a pull request it will be updated if there is no pull request create a branch that I am solving the conflicts and make a pull request to the target branch the conflicts will be resolved so guys if you like the videos uh, subscribe my channel and uh, like comment in the uh, comment box whatever you want to ask or clarify i am glad to uh, clarify it this was by the way from uh, uh, one of you uh, the request to make the videos on uh, merge conflicts and that is why i created uh, these videos i hope it will help you happy getting have a nice day. Bye.